Hey guys, how's it going? Frankie Slauson here for another great daily summer vlog right here on the Frankie Slauson Show channel. And uh, today we're going to do a special movie review, Frankie's movie review, uh, or I could call it Frankie's movie of the week, because uh, uh, I want to start doing that as a feature so it gives you guys something to look forward to. And maybe, if you guys want, I would love to hear recommendations of... Uh, some of the films that you guys actually like and enjoy and whatnot, and maybe if I have it in my collection, maybe if, if you write down what you would like to see me review, and if I have it, I will uh, review it. I'll try to give a proper review the best that I can. Well, this week's uh, review is going to be on the movie Beyond the Law. And Beyond the Law is a very, very good movie. It stars Charlie Sheen, Michael Madison, and Laura Florentino, or, yeah, Linda Florentino. And uh, it just... A very good movie about uh, this guy named Dan Saxon, who's a undercover cop, who, uh, well, a cop turned undercover biker cop or whatever. The bikers don't know besides one person that's in the gang that that know knows that he's even a cop or whatever. And they go on all these uh, drug busts and whatnot. And uh, und well, he goes on all these drug busts, undercover drug busts, and. Uh, Tries to, you know, he he knows that the bad guy, the main bad guy, who is uh, Michael Madison, is a guy who doesn't really care about anybody, who is into drugs and everything, and and all Charlie wants to do, or all Dan wants to do, is uh, uh stop this from happening, and he wants to make some arrests and all that. And there's other things to the story too, but I don't want to give too much away. And uh, but it's a very good movie. Uh, if you like bikers, if you like biker movies, uh. Let's see, what else can I say? The first time that I seen this movie was on HBO. And it's originally from 1992. And the, the movie actually is called Beyond the Law. But the UK... Uh, the UK... Uh, print or whatever title for it is called Fixing the Shadow. And uh, have you guys seen this movie at all? Have you, you know... If you have seen it, let me know what you think about this. Because it's a very good movie. It's one of those movies that never really get talked about. And... It, it's a long story too. It has to do with the fact that his uncle, when he was a kid, uh, Dan, you know, Charlie Sheen's character, when he was a kid, he he didn't like uh, his uncle hated Native Americans, and uh, Dan Saxon's mother was half Native, and uh, his step, well, either it was his uncle or his stepdad, I kind of forget it. It's been a while since I've seen this, but but he starts beating him and all that stuff, and they said the story was that he beat him for like six years, you know, or hit him like in a cave or something like that. And, beat him until he finally, you know, shot him or whatever and killed his uncle and, yeah. So anyway, it's about fixing the shadow and they're going on this crazy adventure with these bikers and and uh, meeting this hot chick named Linda Florentino, which is right here, if you can see. Anyway, so that is my review, a short little review on Beyond the Law. I mean, I could say a lot more about this movie, but it would take me four or five to actually get, give you an actual uh, in-depth look at the movie. I'd have to do maybe four or five different, or four or five videos on it, just to do a proper review on it. But I just wanted to give you a short synopsis. Uh, if you guys have noticed that uh, I am actually using Sony Vegas now for my editing software, I don't have Windows Movie Maker no more. Well, I have it, but I don't, I'm not going to use it. I want to totally try to avoid it. Uh, it, it does suck, and I'd rather use uh, Sony Vegas because there's so much more you can do on there. And I know a lot of people have been asking about the quality of my camera and all that. Uh, the, the camera is not bad. The quality of it is not bad. It's the software that I use to upload because I live on, where I live, we don't get high-speed internet. We don't get broadband. And so on YouTube, when I want to upload a video, uh, because I'll tell you, the video that I made last night, after I uh, rendered it and everything, was 1.35 gigabytes, and I did it in an ABI file. And it, it when I uploaded it last night, it still looked pretty crappy. I mean, the quality a little bit, anyway. I thought it was going to be nice and bright, whatever, it take a little while to upload, but no, it didn't take too long. And, but that has to do with my, that has to do with my software that I have, or in my internet connection, because I... I, I've tried before to do better, make it things a little bit better with it, but on the YouTube site because they've done too many updates and whatever to it, I it takes forever to upload a video for one little video, and I don't want to waste too much time doing that. It shouldn't take too long. When I lived in Thief River last year, 
we had Quest Internet, and that was fast. That was super fast. Here in Green or in Greenbush, where I live, we don't have that. We have Wickstrom, which is the slowest internet possible. Although it's, it is fast for some things, I can still watch videos and surf the web and all that stuff. But when it comes to uploading or even being like on Stickcam or Blog TV or whatever, it takes so long. It, it freezes. It's slow. It's very slow. So anyway, I, I'm not. That's not an excuse. That is the God's honest truth. And uh, if things get better, I you know if I do get a different camera, I will. I'm gonna try to find other ways to upload my video if I can. But uh, that just you know explanation of why the quality is kind of crappy. But it ain't too bad. I mean, it's, it's it's a little staticky, but I don't think it's, I mean, really bad where you can't see anything, but, yeah, who knows. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the review. Uh, tomorrow I work again, uh, but we'll see what we'll, you know, I, I know my family's planning on having a, a fire here pretty soon, uh, either tomorrow night or Saturday, but we've had so much freaking rain, as you can see in the background, it's raining, as you can see, and, uh, yeah, so that's... And like I said, this weekend, we will actually, I will show you guys, do my review, or, sh or show you guys all the rest of the DVDs that I own. Every single one. Because I know there's some people that have uh, gained interest in that. So, I guess that's all I can say. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog right here on YouTube.com.